in this illustration, we intend to simulate the two degree of freedom system with nonlinear springs in the Abacus software. As you observe in this picture, M1 and M2 masses have been connected together by spring and damper, and on the right and left sides, nonlinear springs have been utilized. In this question, velocity and force applied to each one of masses have been distinguished. The initial velocity of M1 is equal to 100 meters per second, and the force applied to M2 is equal to 3000 newton. In this picture, you can observe the model having been simulated in the Abacus software. The purpose of this analysis is to draw diagrams of velocity and displacement for M1 and M2 masses. And in these pictures, the diagrams of velocity and displacement from the Abacus software have been compared with the results obtained from analytical solution. Click on Create step. Here I will select Dynamic, Implicit, and Continue. The analysis will be done in nonlinear form. Time period is equal to 0.5 seconds. Here I'll select Fixed and enter maximum number of increments equal to 50 and increment size equal to 0.01. Then I will click on Create predefined field. Here I'll select velocity and continue. The initial velocity of mass M1 is equal to 100 meters per second. Here I will select the mass of M1 done. Enter the initial velocity equal to 100 meters per second and OK. I will click on create load. Here select step 2. Then select concentrated force and continue. I will select the mass M2 done. Apply a force equal to 3000 Newton to it and OK. Here we intend to draw the diagrams of displacement and velocity for the masses M1 and M2. In this picture, the diagrams of displacement and velocity for the left mass or the same M1 have been drawn. And in this picture, the diagrams of displacement and velocity have been drawn for the right mass or the same M2. Here we intend to draw the diagrams in the Abacus software and compare the results gained with those obtained from the analytical solution. Here first we draw the diagram of displacement and velocity for the mass M1. To do so, I will click on Create XY data on ODB field output and continue. Here I will select unique nodal then displacement directed at x axis, then select velocity directed at x axis. Here select the left mass and click on save. Here you can observe the diagrams of displacement and velocity.
Here, I'll transfer these diagrams to the Excel software. The first column is time period and the second column is displacement. In the next step, I'll transfer the diagram of velocity to the Excel software. Here first I'll draw the displacement diagram. Here the diagram having been drawn in red color is the diagram having been obtained from the Avacus software. As you observe, the results gained from the Avacus software are so close to those obtained from the analytical solution indicating that the results obtained from the Avacus software are correct are correct. In the next step, I'll draw the diagram of velocity. Here, the diagram of velocity for the mass 1 has been drawn. As you observe, the results gained from the Abacus 
software are so close to those obtained from the analytical solution. In the next step, we intend to draw the diagrams of displacement and velocity for the mass 2. To do so, I will click on Create XY Data, Continue. Here, I'll select the mass on the right side and click on Save. Here, I'll transfer the diagrams to the Excel software. Here the displacement diagram of M2 has been compared with the results gained from the analytical solution. As you observe, the results from the Abacus software are so close to those obtained from analytical solution. In the next step, I'll transfer the velocity diagram of the M2 to the Excel software.
here, the diagram having been drawn with red color is a diagram obtained from the Abacus software. As you observe, the results from the Abacus software are quite identical to those gained from the analytical solution. Actually, in this picture and in this one, you can observe the results from the analytical solution and if you compare these results with those obtained from the Abacus software, you will observe that those obtained from the Abacus software are so close to those gained from the analytical solution, indicating that this question has been simulated correctly and properly in the Abacus software.